So welcome to Things That Piss Me Off Part 2. So if you haven't seen Part 1 there will be a link in the description and it will be in one of the corners of the screen. So in the last video we only just scratched the surface with the amount of things that piss me off. So I have delved deeper into the bucket of annoying things and found another five things that piss me off. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So number one. So a little bit of a story, yeah. Um, the reason I recalled my videos upstairs and not downstairs is because of my dog. So when I would try to film downstairs, my dog would just start licking its ass. As soon as I got my camera out, the dog was like, right, I'm going to spoil this kid's day. And it would just be like... <laughs> I would have to do so many takes because of my dog just licking its ass, and oh, it's just so annoying. So yeah, that's why I'm in my cramped bedroom recording all of my videos. Now, this next one is when little kids, little toddlers actually, when they just stare at you for no reason. They're just like, why are you staring at me? I know they're only little and they're probably just thinking, whoa, he's really tall, but Stop staring at me! I don't know why this annoys me, but even the babies, the little babies that just stare at you and their prams like... Mm. There's not really much else I want to say about it, it's just annoying. I'm sure it's relatable to quite a lot of other people, but... Just teach your kids not to stare. It's actually rude to stare, so... Anyway, on to the next one. So this next one is when you've just had a mint or something, say like minty mentos or some chewing gum, and all of a sudden... It triggers something in your mind. All of a sudden, oh, I'm really hungry now. It's just annoying. All of a sudden, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if this is relatable or not. But this happens to me all the time. I've had like chewing gum or something, and then all of a sudden I become really hungry. So I go to get some food and something to drink, and everything just tastes like shit. <laughs> So number three is to do with school and when you're late for class. Just take a look at this. Oh. I'm so sorry I'm late miss, I literally had to run for the bus. Right, that'll be an after school detention every day for the rest of your life. So sit your ass down. A few moments later. Oh, sorry I'm late miss. Oh, not to worry. Just sit down and get on with your work. Are you kidding me? That person is later than me to the class, yet still I'm the one that gets told off badly and gets like 17 million detentions because of it. And there's someone opening their window and looking at me talking to a camera. This is embarrassing. So this next one is when you're at a party and you're socialising with someone. It's usually like a family to get together with friends as well. But it's usually an older person that asks you this question. But trust me, it's the thing you want to talk about the least. Here's an example. You're right, mate. I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, you're right. How you doing? Yeah, I'm fine, you know. Same old, same old. How about you? Yeah, you know, another day, another dollar. Anyway, uh... How's school going? What did you just say? How's school going? I'm now going to invite you to f*** off. Like, really? Really? I'd rather you talk to me about my YouTube channel instead and say, Oh, how's that going? How many subs have you got? Like, oh... Or football. Talk to me about football. I like football, see? You can see I like football, so... It's just annoying, like... Try to make some other conversation apart from how's school going. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to drop a like and also turn post notifications on so you never miss a video for me. But until next time, thanks for watching and bye bye.